All right, first off, we're going to start with a content warning. I'm going to be talking a lot about weight loss and weight gain and health and calories and food and exercise. And so if you have a problematic relationship with any of those things, you might want to give this video a miss. So a few months ago, I made a video about how it's actually okay and healthy for some people, mostly shorter sedentary women and people who are actively trying to lose weight to eat 1200 calories per day, which... Um, not everyone liked that. And I knew that that might happen because I know that a lot of my audience is rightfully concerned with social justice. And one important aspect of social justice is stopping discrimination against fat people. Um, also calling out unhealthy beauty standards that particularly damage women and criticizing unscientific trendy diets like juice cleanses and teas that make you poop yourself. I absolutely agree that all of those efforts are necessary. I mean, that is just one of many reasons why I will never be a good influencer. I will never try to sell you a tea that makes you lose weight by pooping yourself. I, I promise. That is my promise to you. But at the same time, I also acknowledge that too much weight is unhealthy for many people, including myself. You know, I have severe back issues that leave me literally crippled uh, when I carry around too much weight. And just like being underweight is unhealthy for many people, possibly myself, I don't know, as I have never even come close to finding that out. Um, while I don't think it's okay for anyone other than a person's doctor to tell them anything about their body or their health. I also think it needs to be okay for us to all admit that there's a preponderance of evidence that shows how weight negatively affects health outcomes on the average. So while I don't often talk about these topics because contrary to popular opinion, I actually don't like being yelled at by people on both sides of this obesity debate, um, I am still very interested in the topic. And so my interest was piqued when I saw this post flying around Twitter. Holy cow, 42% of Americans report undesired weight gain during COVID-19. The average weight gain is 29 pounds and 41 pounds for millennials. This will ramify for years to come. Okay, no matter how you feel about weight, 41 pounds is a significant amount of weight to gain in a year. Like, a suspiciously large amount of weight. And even that average of 29 pounds, that's pretty impressive when you're talking about almost half of all Americans. Like, I'm not one to lose sleep over the obesity epidemic, but I'll admit that this, this one got me a little worried for a minute. Uh, according to this study from 2017, the average American was previously gaining one to two pounds per year. This is two pounds per month. But then I looked at the actual data and <laughs> let's get this out of the way. That tweet summary of this survey is wrong and the survey itself isn't that great. Okay, so this data comes from a self-reported survey published by the American Psychological Association. In February of 2021, they surveyed about 3,000 American adults and they asked them if their weight had fluctuated at all during quarantine. So already this isn't clinical data. Um, th this isn't doctors weighing people throughout quarantine. This is just asking people a question and hoping that they will respond accurately. Maybe they're lying, maybe they're underestimating, maybe they're overestimating. We have no way to know. That doesn't mean we throw out all the data. It just means that we take it with a grain of salt. Of those people surveyed, yes, 42% said that they gained more weight than they would have liked. Of that 42% of the people who say they gained weight, the mean number of pounds gained was 29. The median was 15. In case you, like me, have completely buried the memory of sixth grade, here's a refresher. Mean is what you usually think of as average. If these, let's say there's 10 people uh, who report the following amount of weight gain, um, the average of this amount would be 26 pounds gained. The average person in this group gained 26 pounds. Does describing these 10 people's weight gain as an average of 26 pounds really accurately explain the situation? 
Or would it provide a clearer image of what happened if we summarize it as half the subjects gained 10 pounds? That's why we have the concept of mode. Mode is the number in a set that occurs the most often. In this case, the mode is 10. The median is the middle number when you literally just stack everything up in numerical order. In this case, it would be 10 uh, and 20. Those are in the fifth and sixth places out of 10. So you would average those for 15. So the median here is 15, the mode is 10, and the mean or average is the scariest number, 26. That's helpful to know because when the mean is significantly larger than the median, we know that the data is positively skewed. In my sample case, two outlier subjects gained a lot of weight, but everyone else gained less than half of what they did. So the APA survey is reporting a mean of 29 and a much smaller median of 15. And that tells us the same thing. Most people who gained weight did not gain 29 pounds. A few people gained a whole lot of weight, while most people gained much less. I can't believe I'm using sixth grade math for something useful in real life. I'm so angry at my math teacher for being right. Also, I just made up those example numbers and, um, you know, to make it easy to add and divide them in my head because, you know, I'm not good at math, but they ended up being almost exactly the same mean and median as the survey. Should I just say that I meant to do that? No, it's too late. Just going to move on. Anyway, even that median of 15 pounds gained is way more than the previous average of one to two pounds per year. But remember that 15 pound median isn't among all the people surveyed. It's just the people who said that they experienced unwanted weight gain, which was only 42% of respondents. 18% of respondents said that they experienced unwanted weight loss with a mean of 26 pounds and a median of 12 pounds. Again, a big difference suggesting it's positively skewed. 39% of people uh, reported no change in weight. So again, I'm terrible at math. Um, so I have to like visualize this in a simplistic way. Uh, let's take 10 people and see their weight change using the mean reported pounds from this survey. So that would be four people with no change in weight, two people who lost 26 pounds, and four people who gained 29 pounds. That adds up to 64 divided by 10. That gives us a mean average of 6.4 pounds gained per person over the course of the year in quarantine. Now that's a number we can then compare to the previously established average of one to two pounds per year. So the real headline here isn't 42% of Americans gained an average of 29 pounds in quarantine. That's not true. If anything, it should be, and this would still be a good headline, Americans gained three to six times more weight than usual in quarantine. Or the average American gained about half a pound per month in quarantine. And remember, this was self-reported data. We don't know if these respondents even had a scale or if they were just taking a good guess. We actually do have a study that uses data from people's scale, so we can compare that previous study to this one. 269 participants had Bluetooth-connected scales that reported data to researchers from February 1st to June 1st, 2020. And those people did experience an average weight gain of 1.5 pounds per month. Wow, that's about what that previous survey would have had us think that people gained. The problem with this one is that it was only based on the first month or two of quarantine, collecting data from anyone in the pre-existing Health eHeart study who reported at least one weight in February of 2020 and another weight after quarantine began in their state, which was somewhere between March 19th to April 6th but before June 1st, 2020. So let's say I weighed in at 140 pounds on February 28th and 142 pounds on March 20th. I would go down as this person gained an average of two pounds per month. Okay, look, I'm a weird obsessive nerd, so I weigh myself pretty much every day. I like numbers, despite being terrible at math. Um, I've gained three pounds just by eating a ton of salty food. I've lost three pounds by having a really long pee. 
I just don't think that checking on people's weight for one or two months is quite enough data for us to say that Americans have gained 1.5 pounds per month in quarantine, when one and a half pounds is well within the fluctuations that pretty much everyone experiences day to day. All that said, I would not be surprised to learn that people have, on average, gained weight in the past year. A hell of a lot of people, myself included, eat and drink to curb anxiety and depression and boredom. I see conservatives using these studies to say that lockdown was awful because closing gyms led to this weight gain. But let's be honest, the science is pretty clear. Um, weight loss happens in the kitchen, not in the gym. Um, you can't outrun a bad diet. And many of us have been dealing with our stress by ordering in, whether because we're avoiding going out to grocery stores or because delicious pad ki mao is the only thing that makes life worth living right now. So yeah, I'm eating four days worth of calories in this dinner, but I briefly remember what it is to be happy. And also I'm supporting a small local business. So leave me alone. So yeah, did Americans gain weight during a global pandemic? Probably. Was it an average of 29 or 41 pounds? Absolutely not. Was it caused by quarantining? Or was it caused by the fact that we had to watch half a million people die while our corrupt government twiddled their thumbs and clueless conspiracy mongers screamed about their freedom? No way to tell from these studies. If quarantine was the cause of an increase of half a pound per month, does that mean that it would have been better to have not quarantined? Abso-fucking-lutely not. I gained about 10 pounds in 2020. Um, three months into 2021, I'm back to where I was at the start of quarantine last year. Um, but I can do push-ups now. Uh, a little weight gain can be reversed if the person wants. I can't say the same about a COVID-19 diagnosis. Quarantine was undoubtedly the right decision, even if some people gained some weight during it. <laughs>